But there are things we can do to stop a crowd of kids bullying someone. If I saw a big crowd bullying someone and pushing them around, and I was on my own, I can't do nothing. I think you should try and get like some of your friends, not to like, not to like start an argument with them, just to tell them to back off this person, and you wouldn't like it if they done it to you. If so, if like one person comes forward in the crowd and says them to stop it, then generally quite a few people will follow. And there are loads of ways we can stick up for our friends. I've got this friend and he's black and then during the lunch hour he gets bullied and picked on. We were playing football one time and then he went in for the tackle and he tackled somebody and then the person that he tackled goes up and started kicking him and hitting him and that. He doesn't really do anything, he's just playing. I feel angry when he keeps on getting picked on. I go up to the person that's hitting him and saying stop hitting him. I go in and I put my hands in front of them and then I go break it up and stuff. I think he won't tell the teacher because he's a bit scared of maybe they'll bully him again or maybe they've told him not to tell the teacher. I feel kind of upset because they're just doing that because of his colour and I don't think it's fair. So we've seen that it's not good to stand by and watch bullying. We need to take action to stop it. But right now, what can we do about bullying? How can we be the activists and be the kids who do something about it? Stop bullying now! Stop bullying now! As we travelled around the UK, we met loads of kids who were really getting involved in putting a stop to bullying. One of those kids is called Akbar. He wants to help younger kids with their bullying problems, so he's trying to become a buddy or a peer mentor in a workshop called Chips. Hi, my name is Akbar and I'm about to be trained to be a buddy. I've got here the outline of a person. And what you need to do is to make this person into the perfect buddy. They should have very big ears so they could listen. You're going to be demonstrating skills that maybe you shouldn't do when you're listening to someone. I was in the playground and then three bullies came and so annoying if you're talking to someone about something serious and when they're laughing at you. So the first thing that we're going to learn is our privacy statement. I will keep your problem private. Unless it is very serious, then I will have to tell a teacher. I am being bullied when I play football. This one kid has turned the others against me. Let's just create our own football match. Just make our own game. Okay, I finished my training and now I'm an official buddy in the playground in my first body lunch break. At our school are taking action against bullying by introducing the buddy training. And other schools do different things to fight bullying. At our school we have bully boxes where people who have been bullied in the past put in like the write down everything that's happened and how they feel. We have workshops where we write stories about bullying. We do this thing called Time to Talk and we talk about bullying. Every year we do an anti-bullying week where we do posters to um, stop the bullying. But some schools aren't so good at making time for anti-bullying work. We only had one assembly last term about bullying. We only have one assembly every six months and that's not good enough. Our school doesn't really talk about it. In my old school we had bullying rules but it was just written down on a piece of paper. They didn't do nothing about it, nothing. I reckon that the school should have one anti-bullying day per term so it sticks in uh, the children's heads that they should stop bullying. They don't really deal with it properly because it still goes on. And they do need to do something more about it. What's your school like? Are they doing enough to fight bullying? Maybe they're doing loads. Maybe they're doing nothing. Or maybe they're thinking about doing more but need you to speak up and make them do it. Just now, you heard a kid's idea that school should set aside one anti-bullying day every term. One day, when kids get to discuss their bullying problems and teachers listen and try new solutions. We like that idea. And you could help make that happen in your school. Think about some of the stuff you could do. You can try getting your teacher's support for having one anti-bullying day a term. You could write a letter to your head teacher asking for the same thing. Or you could make your voice heard in other ways. Like I'm about to do at my school. What do we want? Anti-bullying day! What do we want? Anti-bullying day! This isn't the end. We're making another show about bullying that will be on later in the year. And we want you to be in it. He's lying! He doesn't really want you in it! He's just a... 
If you've got any ideas for fighting bullying, or a story to tell, or just something to say about bullying, email us and you could be on the next show. At Nickelodeon, we want to hear what you think about bullying. Whether you've been bullied or stopped to bully, let us know your story. Log on now to nick.co.uk forward slash say something. There are loads of ways to prevent bullying, whether you're a victim or a witness. The best thing to do is to tell a parent or teacher. Don't worry, if you see something, say something. And if you ever need to speak privately to anyone about a bullying problem, you can call Childline at any time on 0800 1111 or check out the Nickelodeon website for other people who can help you. See you next time. Oh, 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 oh,